I'm in the VinFast booth, which is a Vietnamese company, and I'm representing the Kilowatt podcast, but I also do the No Silicast podcast over at podfeet.com. This is the VF8, which is a full-size SUV. It's a five-seater, and it's got a range of 250 to, to 280 miles. It's available in the U.S. today. came out in March of 2023. This, this comes in two trims. It comes in the Eco and the Plus. The, Eco, uh, the Plus is the fully loaded version, and it's got... Um, Starts at a price point of $46,000 on the Eco, and the Plus is $51,800. So this is a vehicle that you might want to take a look at that's available today, all electric, so it's our kind of car. Now, if you'd like a bigger SUV, this is the seven-seater VF9. This is going to be coming to the United States in the first quarter of 2024, so just around the corner. This also comes in an Eco and a, and a Plus version, and the Eco starts at 79,800 is approximately that's when they're looking for, and the uh, Plus comes in at 85,000. The range is uh, above 300 miles, which, so that's a good healthy range. Again, it's a seven-seater full-size SUV coming to the United States first quarter of 2024 from VinFast. I'm sitting inside the VF9 right now, but the display and the controls that you see here will be the same, are the same in the VF8 as well. It has lane assist and speed control, as you can see on this uh, display right here. And uh, you get to it with this little button I'm pointing at uh, right there. But I can also go into drive mode and show you that it's got eco driving styles of eco, normal, and sport mode. It's got that awful creep mode that I don't know why anybody wants to turn on, but if you're used to a gas vehicle, maybe you'd like it. And we also have an option of low or high regenerative braking. Like I said, this uh, is available on both of the models that we've looked at today. And this is a giant, beautiful screen. I'm really, really happy with how this looks. So if you're looking for full self-driving, it's not here yet. This does work uh, the uh, driving modes lane assist works on the freeway only it won't change lanes for you and it won't navigate but it will keep you safely in the lane and keep you from hitting the car in front of you in theory we all hope that works thank you very much for the rest of the vf9 all right now if we want to look to the future for vinfast we have the vf3 behind me and this is a very small compact uh, four-seater vehicle that's targeted for 2025. They're looking to bring this in at around $20,000 US. If they can hit that price point, that is an incredible price. And it's going to be a, just a small commuter car. So it's 125 miles that you could go on, uh, for, like I said, for just the commuter vehicle. Again, we're looking at 2025 for the VF3. Now, it wouldn't be CES if it wasn't a chance to look at a, a purely concept car. This is the VinFast WILD, the Wild, which is a big truck with uh, its four-seater, and I've got displays all over the place. Got a beautiful display in front for me, but there's displays in the back seat, and we've got a full glass roof kind of going up over here. And this is, uh, like I said, it's a concept car. Maybe we're looking at 2025 to see the, v the VinFast Wild come to fruition.